Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, December 15th. It's the second week in Advent and week two in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 43 and 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 6 through 18. And join me now in singing verse 4 of Once He Came in Blessing. One who thus endureth, bright reward secureth. Come then, O Lord Jesus, from our sins release us. Let us here confess thee, till in heaven we bless thee. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Judge me, O oh God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Psalm 43, and please recite it with me. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and the unjust. For you are the God of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why do I go mourning? Because of the oppression of the enemy. O send out your light and your truth, and let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacles. And then will I go to the altar of God. To God my exceeding joy. Upon the harp I praise you, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. A reading from Paul's letter, second letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 6. Now we command you, beloved, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to keep away from believers who are living in idleness and not according to the tradition that they receive from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you, and we did not eat anyone's bread without paying for it. But with toil and labor we worked night and day, so that we might not burden any of you. Thus this was not because we do not have that right, but in order to give you an example to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this command. Anyone willing to work should not eat. For we hear that some of you are living in idleness, mere busybodies, not doing any work. Now such persons we command and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Brothers and sisters, do not be weary in doing what is right. Take note of those who do not obey what we say in this letter. Have nothing to do with them so that they may be ashamed. And do not regard them as enemies, but warn them as believers. And now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in all ways, 
and the Lord be with all of you. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. This is the mark in every letter of mine. It is the way I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Send us your light and truth and lead us into your holy house. Let us come to your altar with exceeding joy to praise you and to give you your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.